Hi, I'm Logan from Hidden Villa, here in the woods at Hidden Villa on a beautiful February morning. And I wanted to talk to you all today about the special places that animals live. So the first question I have is where are some special places that animals live? You might have an answer like, in the ocean is where fish live, and we have dolphins and sharks in the ocean too, and in the jungles you might find some monkeys or parrots or jaguars, and in the desert you might find a tortoise or a coyote or a lizard. And uh, those are all really good answers. And here at Hidden Villa we have some special places too where animals live, like the forest, but even more than that, we have tons of very small special places, and believe it or not, there are things that live under logs. So today, we're going to find out what animals live under logs and why. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to roll this log back and we're going to see what's under here. Ooh, there's lots of animals living under this log. And this might look like a lizard. Oh, excuse me. But it's not. It's got smooth skin and uh, it's a salamander. It's an amphibian which means that it has smooth skin and um, is closer related to frogs. So you can see it's got eyes and four legs and a really long tail. And uh, they live under logs because that's where they can find food. It's one of their special places. But also, one of the reasons that they're able to live under logs, there's not a lot of space here and they actually don't have lungs to breathe. They breathe through their skin. And so that's one of the ways that they're able to live under logs. You and I, we couldn't live under a log, but this salamander definitely can. Let's see what's under this log. Oh, a cricket just hopped away. And here's a cricket too. You can see it's got these really big back legs so that if something scares it, it can jump away really quick. And they like to live under logs because it's where they feel comfortable. It's a place where a bird or a snake or a lizard will have a lot harder time finding them. So a log is their special place because it keeps them safe. So we just rolled this log and I found this critter right on over here who I'm moving with my bug box very carefully because this is a Jerusalem cricket, which kind of looks like a cricket, but it can't jump like a cricket. And they like to live under logs and um, just one of the big things, and this is actually a small one. They can get a lot bigger. And um, being careful not to touch it around its head because they have some pretty fearsome bites and uh, that would not feel good. They aren't venomous, but it just would not feel good. So the Jerusalem crickets, one of those things that live under logs. And look, it found another even smaller microhabitat under that leaf. So, we learned that animals live under logs because it's where they can find food, it's where they're comfortable, and it's where they can be safe. And when I think about it, that's the reason why animals live in all of their special places. Fish live in the ocean because it's where they can find food and where they're safe, and that's why monkeys live in the jungle, and it's why squirrels live in the forest. So, next time you see an animal in its special place, you can think about why did it choose to live there? And why is it good at living there? And that's what scientists do. They want to figure out why animals live the places that they do. I'm Logan from Hidden Villa, and that's what's good in the woods.